So that's part one. Part one played all together in slow. So that's part one played slow, here's part one played in roll speed. Now part two of the solo begins, you're going to place your pointer finger here on the twelfth fret of your G. You're going to pick that note one time. And then after that, you're going to place your ring finger on the 14th fret of your G. You're going to pick it and then bend it up a full step. So far here in part two, we have this played slow. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the 12th fret of your G once again. And then after that, place your pinky on the 14th fret of your G and pick that note one time. So far here in part two, we have this played slow. After you've played the 14th fret of your G string with your, pink, with your pinky, you're then going to place your ring finger above it on the 14th fret of your D, and you're going to pick that note one time. So far here in part two, we have this played slow. After we've played the 14th fret of our D string with our ring finger, which was the last thing that we did, you are then going to play the 12th fret of your G, and after you've played it, you're going to take your ring finger and hammer on to the 14th fret of your G. It will sound like this. So far all together here in part two, we have this played slow. Next, what we're going to do is you're going to pick the 12th fret of your G, and after you've picked it, you're going to slide up two frets to the 14th fret of your G string. That will sound like this. So, so far here we have this in part two. After you've slid up from the 12th fret of the G to the 14th fret, what you're going to do is you're going to move your pointer finger back to the 12th fret of the G and you're going to pick it and slide up to the 14th fret. Once getting to the 14th fret, you will play a vibrato that will sound like this. So far we have this in part two, played all together in slow. Then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the G string 14th fret where your pointer finger is, and you're going to slide up two frets to the 16th fret of your G. That will sound like this. And then after that, you're going to move your pointer finger back to the 14th fret of your G. You're going to pick it, and this time you're going to slide down two frets to the 12th fret. It will sound like this. So far here in part two, we have this played slow. And then after we've slid down from the 14th fret, down back to the 12th fret of our G, you're then going to place your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string. You're going to pick it, bend it up a full step, continue to press down firmly and bring the note back down. We'll sound like this. So far here in part two, we have this played slow.
And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to place your pointer finger here on the 12th fret of your B string. You're going to pick that note, the 12th fret of the B, and after you've picked it, you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to hammer on to the 13th fret of the B and then immediately pull back off. That will sound like this. And then after you've done that, you're going to leave your pointer finger right there on the 12th fret of your B. What you're going to do next is you're going to place your middle finger on the 13th fret of the B string. You're going to pick the B, the B string 13th fret where your middle finger is, and you're going to pull off. That will sound like this. Then you're going to do that once again. In part two, we have this so far played slowly. Now next what we're going to do is you're going to place your pointer finger here on the 12th fret of your G. You're going to pick that note one time. And then following that you're going to place your pinky on the 15th fret of your B string. I also place my ring finger on the 14th fret of the B, my middle finger on the 13th fret, and my pointer finger on the 12th fret. So the note that we're going to be playing here will be the 15th fret where, our, where my pinky is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the B string and I'm going to bend the 15th fret up. And once I get it to the top of that bend, I'm going to pick the B string again and bring the note back down. So that will sound like this played slow. And then after we've brought the note back down, you will pick your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger up out of the way. And your pointer finger is on the 12th fret of your B. You will pick that note one time to end part two of the solo. So that ends part two. Part two played all together in slow. So that's part two played slow. Now here's part two played in roll speed. And now here's parts one and two of the solo played in roll speed. <laughs> 